It doesn't matter how many fingers you can shove up your ass. It's not something I want you showing to my mum. Speaking of ass, look at that. Someone just sent us a picture of an ass. Yeah. Are we... Hole. Are we... Live. Holy shit. But only in Iceland. And now the rest. Hello, everyone. Episode number 39. This is the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast, all right? And before we even say a fucking word, this podcast is sponsored by the University of Markle, all right? By the time this comes out, there's going to be... This is the last... <coughs> this is the last month you can sign up to the website for $5 US a month. And we are also announcing that we will be doing vlogs on our website next year. All right? So the, not only does the price go up, we're doing vlogs on the website I can't every week, wait for it. every fucking week next year, okay? When we come back from our break. So maybe, uh, I don't know. Long vlogs too. Maybe look into that a little bit. Um, fucking hell. That was fucking caught, caught yesterday, cunt. We dodged some bullets there, eh? Man, we look, we had a pretty good lawyer, I think. Um, the lawyer, like, we, Shout out to Andrew McGuinness. Yeah, if you need your fucking lawyer work, Andrew bloody McGuinness. Um, it was a fun, fun little day. Um, we fucking, we went in the coin car. We drove there and we got there and we, we were like, oh, yeah, there's going to be lots of reporters. Lots of media. One dude, one dude there took, took some photos of us as we walked in. And then we went in there and we, we bought that shirt that, is it Nicole? Nicole Nikki, sent us? Yep. Yeah. Nikki sent us. That shirt with the fucking two holes. It's one shirt for two people. And the shorts, we bought that thinking, fuck, after the tr- after the court's finished, we're going to come out to all the reporters wearing one fucking shirt and shorts. It'll be a big laugh. And we're going to say, oh, we tried to convince the judge that we're one person, so only get one fine. That was going to be the joke. We fucking, trial goes well, $750 fine, no Each. recorded conviction. We, we get changed. We're really excited. And our lawyers are like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to walk out with you guys. It's fucking embarrassing. And we walk, <laughs> we walk out. No one there. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's because it's been such a long time of period from when we did the stunt to now. Yeah, and then we're like, court. yeah, we're like, oh, fucking hell. Maybe it just wasn't that big a deal. But then we get home and then fucking like 2 p.m. rolls around and boom. Not only is the, the, the court case all over the national news, the fucking coin car. Oh, man. Lucky we drove the car to that city that day, eh? The Seven News picks up the coin car story and it's just, it's fucking, it was a big news day. And before you know it, it's just fucking crazy town. Fucking so, we're crazy in the town. news for AFL and we're in the news for the coin car. Fucking gold. Bloody great. And all the hates died down and everyone's just, everyone's really nice about the coin car. The articles are starting to be nice. I think the media's starting to warm up a little bit, which is lovely. Isn't that mm. nice, Matt? Yeah. Eh? yeah. What's your comment, Matthew Brown? Yeah. Yeah. Great point. And f- the, the fucking court itself, man, we were a little bit nervous. Our lawyer's like, oh, you know, um, it, it, we, I think you should maybe adjourn because this judge is a little bit unpredictable. I'm like, fuck it. Let's just get over and done with. Thank fuck we didn't. And then right before we go in, our lawyer's like, oh, by the way, have you guys done any charity work this year? And I was thinking, I was like, oh, oh actually, at the start of the year, yeah, we fucking helped raise like a bit of money for the bushfires. And Australians like, oh, how much? I was like, I don't know, like $200,000. And then his fucking jaw dropped. And then he mentions it. And I think that that is what fucking saved us a bit. He saved the day. Because some other dude last week, re- like, got fined $1,000 because he ran onto a cricket game. I think it was a cricket game. After it had finished and lied down on the field, he got $1,000. And we fucking run on in the AFL grand final. <coughs> like, ours is the final. His was some bullshit cricket match. Like, we're not complaining, but like... There's no fairness to <laughs> We should have. Like, and we did. We planned ours. He's, he might have just been drunk and he's decided to go make the boys laugh like in the moment. I don't we know. pre-planned it hard. We knew what we were doing and we only got a $750 fine. I don't know if we should be admitting that hey, this is... We've been... No, fuck it. We, it's done now. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but the the thing... Um, the A lot of people are like, oh, you did it for financial gain. The the video... The, look, we did it just to make a good video. We just want to make a good, funny video. But it, we, we didn't... We lost a lot of money on that video. We didn't make a lot... Like, people think we're so fucking loaded. We're not. We're like, oh, that's nothing to them. 750 is nothing to them. And the video is not even on a million views on social media because we have all these reach restrictions. 
So we didn't make anywhere near the money back. We had to pay for tickets. They're like two and a half grand. I think we paid on them. For us two and Julian, we had to pay for the... AFL balls for those fucking really nice what, shoes. A couple of hundred for Julian's disguise outfit. And fucking, yeah, and that, the lawyer fees, obviously, and then the fine. So, um, yeah. It's, it's, At uh, least it's quality. I watched it again yesterday for the first time in ages, and fuck, it's it's a good video. Yeah. It's something to be proud of. Matthew Brown? Matthew fucking Brown. Holy fucking shit. Sitting He's there. He's in his undies in today. fucking undies because it's so hot in this fucking yeah, no air con here. <laughs> can't afford that. we got to pay it on fines. And we bought a fucking pool last Thursday, didn't we? Yeah, you ruined it. It didn't last very long, did it, eh? <laughs> I knew as soon as I bought that that I was going to fucking slice the bottom of that. I was going to bring that to Christmas. It was 140 bucks. It's so cheap. Yeah, well, it sort of. (laughs) That's pretty good for a big pool. I know. Like, that's all you need. You just sit in the pool, you're wet. Why do people spend like 50 grand on these in-ground ones? Yeah, to dig a hole. Just And then it's there permanently. What if you want to play footy or something in the backyard, practice AFL? And we couldn't be fucked, but you can put a filter in that thing. You can really? fucking put a filter in there. Yeah, we didn't put it on. Oh, that's right. That machine thing. That's yeah, the filter. machines. Oh, actually, my old neighbors, I think, had a similar one. And yeah, they had a filter on there. But like, if you if you want to pull, you've got to pull. You just go to Kmart. You just need $140. That took 20 minutes to set up. I got sunburnt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's been our fucking week. But yeah, call went well, bloody. Yeah, not bloody too bad. We had a... Another interview with another reporter this morning and everyone's just being lovely now. So, it's, it's a nice change from two months ago when everyone was like fucking hating us. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared, Bosley. I was scared, Bosley, oh, with a gunshot. You made the water bottle go down. I need a towel, man. I need a fucking towel. Now, I saw Matt um, like sliding through the window um, at fucking as we were arriving today for the podcast and usually he's here really quite early in the mornings to start the on this days to start his research but i saw him sliding through the back window and sort of panicking a bit so um you know we'll see what he's got here oh, but thank you, baby. i feel like he's rushed them i don't want to i don't want to point any fingers but i'm pointing at you matt brown matthew gregory brown what makes you think i rushed flash them? is something show us a ball because you squeezed yourself through a really- Get up and show us a ball. Yeah, go on. Flash is a bit of an asshole. Can't. I don't want to. When you say it like that, mm. it's not really appeasing to do. Do that. <laughs> I love that word. Show appeasing. me a ball. <laughs> show us a ball. If you said, oi, show us your sack. Imagine do you reckon a girl's ever said that to a dude? Show us one of your ball. I wonder if girls yeah. ever get I mean, like- like a ball. You know how yeah, you know how boys I want to want to see tit. I wonder if girl <laughs> ever want to see ball. <laughs> I wonder if girls see ball and get- <laughs> horny <laughs> get all frisk. Oh, that boy's ball hanging out that's horny <laughs> now get friskified yeah his balls aren't balls and cocks aren't exactly fucking good girls shut arch your back a bit arch your back and twerk your ass yeah sideways i want to see and the put arch your tits together and show some cleavage mm. i want to imagine you know <laughs> no <laughs> come on give us something <laughs> no that makes me self-conscious <laughs> about though. what that i can do it with my tits yeah but it makes me feel like i'm <laughs> a big boy when you bat off you do this and you can jerk and you can look at cleavage while you have a wank. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been wanking in my house. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Think about it. It'd be hard to jerk off because you'd need to really squeeze your tits together to get that cleavage look. And then you can't really jerk off. I don't like this. I don't like what I'm seeing in my fat head right now. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's very it's hot. Very Not hot, hot like it's in sexual hot. It's hot in this room. Oh, a little bit of both, huh? <laughs> on see, this right day. On this day in 1998, <clears throat> the Michelin man was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Oh. <laughs> his neck swelled up and his metabolism slowed. He, ga- he gained weight rapidly and became known for his grotesque fat rolls. Although he managed to get some work as a mascot, he hung himself using a crane and steel rope in, <laughs> in late 2017 in Japan or one of them countries. Who's this? <laughs> the Michelin, the Michelin man. man. Who the fuck's... Is he the big tire guy? Yeah. He looks like a marshmallow? Yeah. yeah. Thyroid cancer. He hung himself with a crane. Fuck, he you must didn't be know huge. That? that was all over the news. He's- all over the news in 1998. Oh. That was like the biggest news right before 9-11 happened. Was he in Ghostbusters? 
No, that's the the state puff marshmallow man. Fuck me. They Sorry, I'm a me. nerd. They're cute, aren't they? Those things. Mm. He is cute, and then they then they zap him, and he goes. Arr! I can't remember. I never it. watched it. Cute I can't remember that. that fucking movie. Eh? On this day in 2014, Pat Rafter gave birth to six rats. On this day in 2002, John Farnham's sense of smell became so powerful that he could predict the birth date of everyone he met. He says the gunk sack that you are born in has a very distinct smell and he can tell how long you've been out of the womb for. The police even employed him as a sniffer dog for a few months until John broke his nose on a particularly hard piece of toast. He now is planning another comeback tour and has lung cancer. The gunk sack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, pe- don't babies come out in some fucking sack or some shit, cunt? Some embryotic sack or some shit? It's and you got to slice it up. you got to slice it up? Or is that just animals I'm thinking of? Um, oh, oh, dude, no, you do. You're in the fucking embryo sack thing. Yeah, and then they have to just rip you out of it. Rip you fucking out of it, cunt. There's the- fucking rip you out of it. Don't, you can eat it as Embryolic well. sack or some shit. Yeah, it's like the fucking umbilical cord. If anyone knows not this, in the umbilical cord. Yeah, yeah, but that's what it's connected to. If Clearly, all three of us have shit. not had kids. If one of our three, <laughs> if one of our three female viewers knows the answer, comment on the bloody bloody. <laughs> it's the placenta. Yeah, that's not what we're in. Gunk sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a shame. If we ever gained any new viewers, that just oh, these guys are idiots. God, <laughs> dumb dummies. You big dummies. Oh, next week we got fucking, we're going to try and get Jacko on for the season finale, boys. So fucking <coughs> hang on to your hats and get ready, cowboys. Do a little, yeah, that's it. Rotate the hips. On this day in 2012, Reese Witherspoon snipped her tail off and made it into a pen. She signs all her contracts with this pen, but it's decomposing a bit, so it's getting tricky. And that's the end of On This Days. <laughs> I didn't even know she had a tail. It makes sense, though. She's a fucking freaky looking little fucking fucking. <laughs> I reckon she's pretty. Okay. Um, did you know some people are born with tails? Yeah, Matt has a tail. Is that what that is? Yeah, you thought it was a second cock, but it's an extended coccyx. Yeah, isn't it their little... <laughs> coccyx? Coccyx bone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the anatomically correct name for your tailbone. Do you remember that show Embarrassing Bodies? Ooh, a girl came in with a with a, a bone tail. that had extended out like a tail. Yeah. Um. Whatever that little. I think it's great. Is. Honestly, I love it. Yeah, mm. I'd love to see it. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Some more supporting small business. <laughs> <laughs> that was Margaret. That was Margaret, Margaret Young. Or Margaret Little popped her head in. <laughs> The prank caller today is going to be Arnold Fine. He's actually gotten into some trouble with the police, so he's going to call the butcher and accuse them. So don't bloody um, don't bloody go anywhere, mate. Matt, you fucking sit right there, brother. Yeah. All right, let's fucking set, change the segment name to. <laughs> and there's a segment where you guys uh, comment questions and we fucking answer the cunts. That's oh. not a. Stole my wife. Mm. All right. Yes. Actually, so first question actually comes from Coke Penguin. <laughs> Imagine uh, that little fucking penguin racking up fucking little lines with his fin. Do you ever watch Pangu? Snorting them, cunt. Yeah. Fucking hell. Mad net. Whoa. That's pretty that was good. Mad <laughs> No oh, shit. No. It's more high pitch, I reckon. Mad <laughs> <laughs> net. He changed it. He changed it a lot. The fucking uh, the noise. He had an appearance in one of the Toy Story episodes. I fucked him. Are you guys ever going to do vlogs? Yes, we will. So starting, uh, and and we want to also have a version, a shorter version of the vlog, the website vlogs for our YouTube, uh, and start posting some vlogs next year. But um, yeah, the main like 20, 15 to twenty minute vlogs will be on the website weekly episodes, and we won't be uploading two anymore. And it'll just be like behind the scenes of all the fucking videos we filmed. And adventures! In the week. I'm so excited for some adventures. Yeah, some adventures. So yeah, no, it's great. It's looking nice, isn't it, Matthew? Yeah. 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 Um, next question is from Defy underscore you. Um, some people think that you might have answered this already, but here we go. Um, since you've been best friends for years, has there been a time where you've had a breakup for a period of time? Oh, there's been times where Michael's taken some of the other boys overseas and I've just done my own thing for a while. But then... I can't <laughs> see you've ever not had been happy with each other. No, That's we fucking... Like. We just sort of... Yeah, I went traveling for a while and then... 
once I came back, I was like, let's fucking make vids, man. Yeah, glistening I already am. Yeah, and I like moved out with, you know, Pepper and Dave and Luke and stuff. And, <coughs> and then, yeah, but... Then mm. once we fucking sort of had this... We, well, we had this dream when we were in high school. We used to walk home hammer drunk and be like, man, we're too fucking weird. We're so weird. To, we have to be famous. And then we fucking found like a thousand shoes on the side of the road and filled Michael's drive, walked home, drunk drove back to the shoes and filled his car with them. And we thought that, that was going to be our ticket to we fame. We thought that was a little opportunity somehow to get fame. We'd be like the shoe guys or something. Yeah, like the shoe guys with the car. But all it was was just two months of my dad and mum hating me because they had to drive around with shoes in my it's, car it's, it was a qu- quite an interesting smell it smelled and like I, I just said no you gotta wait see, you it's like planting a seed yeah, yeah didn't exactly. you guys find a rape man when you were walking home once? exactly yeah. so, all this shit happened How's to us not a video? all this shit happened to us when we were, so we just we always knew that something would happen eventually and even in high school we'd go fucking hang out after high school and just Sip on Coca Cola. We just, you just knew, you just know, you just fucking know, and then it happens. And then when I got back from traveling, that's the secret. I felt like I think Central America and South America. I came back and then I was like, Marty, let's do this fucking video shit finally. And then he's like, well, Okay then. <laughs> and then here we are at fucking five years later. It took a while. God, six damn, years now. Six, six years. Six years, bro. Jeez, that's like half my life. Time flies. Uh, next question is from Barry Singh. Um, this is not a bad question, actually. Why haven't you guys made a soundboard app yet? What's that um, mean? So, you know, when you get little apps with different sounds or different sayings, you can push it on there. Oh, yeah. So, would um, people even use that, though? I feel like... What I'd, would you use it for? Like, just for fun? You yeah, sit in your room fun. and play it. Well, this guy sort of suggested you could do the German pack, the disco dancing <clears throat> pack. You know, I guess yeah, fun maybe. little sounds that you guys make on this day. Oh, some squirties. We've already we've done an app and it sort of we lost a fair bit of money on it, and now we're doing another app and it's fucking difficult. So our our run rate with our, our bloody our bloody success rate with apps is a bit fucking bottomed out a little bit, brother. <laughs> 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 oh, you fucking lost my train of thought. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it though, right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Have you got any squirties? Have you got any squirties? No, man. I can't feel nothing brewing in me guts. <sighs> Next question is pretty good. I'm pretty happy and I'm excited to ask this one. I wish I thought of it. Um, it's from Amar Khalid. Um, mm-hmm. Who's the better tennis player out of you two? Uh, oh, now it right now would be me. Age old question. But my, I, I continued to coach for much longer than Michael did, so I was fucking coaching while he was fucking driving around, Uber driving. So you know, I maintained that skill for lo- a longer period. Yeah, fuck, Marty's got he hits it hard. Hey, <laughs> very powerful. We played a few matches in high school. I remember we had a hackathon in one final of the tournament. Yeah, Michael did get me there. He did get well, me. We just fucking... It's, you get too scared when you, you can't hit through your shots, so you just fucking lob it back, and we just were lobbing. I think it was under 18s in front of all these old people. It was the shittest fucking match. <laughs> and I remember it, it, at Kelvin Grove, because we played tennis as a subject in tennis excellence, we'd get sent... You know, all the players would get sent off, and then we'd have to play like first to 10 points. And we'd be down in the bottom courts, and sometimes Michael would win, and that we walk up to the courts, and the coaches would be like, "Oh, yeah, who won?" And I'd just be like, "Yeah, I won." <laughs> be better at lying than Michael was at convincing me. <laughs> they would fucking believe yeah, me. Yeah, God. Then I'd get real worked up, and it just looked like I was even more guilty. <laughs> so I'd fucking like it was it was ups and downs. So he'd go up and move up onto the top court, and I'd fucking go down. That was that. The time I convinced Greg that you killed a bird. <laughs> Dude, I just had a fucking memory. I, when I went back down to Canberra, I fucking told my cousins, I think this is when I was in year eight or year nine, that I'd killed a goth's dog. Yeah, dude. I remember you always told that story to people. <laughs> yeah, so I'd convinced people that I followed this goth home <laughs> in the city and was just real mad at him. So I waited for him to leave his house and then put his dog in a bag and hit it against a tree. And people oh would be God. just so shocked people, my, my cousins thought I was fucking psychotic. <laughs> that like, I and I are. never, ever told them that it wasn't the truth. That it was a lie until like years later when I was 18. Now they know. 
Yeah, no, nah, they they know already. I hope. I fucking hope I cleared that up. Uh, next question is from Call of Duty 23 Lopez. Um, this one's been asked before, but it's a little bit different. Um, if given the opportunity to travel back in time, which has been asked before, um, what uh, what pivotal moment in history w- which would you change? Egypt. Oh, change or fucking go watch? Change. I'd stop the Big Bang from happening. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I'd keep it all together in me hand gun. <laughs> I was fucking alive, cunt. Hey, fucking slow, cunt. I don't know if I'd change anything. I'd just go back and watch what happened in Egypt to make those fucking beautiful triangles. Aliens. Oh, uh, did you watch Joe Rogan's last podcast with um, alien documentary guys? Dude, I I screenshot it. There's another fucking is alien Isra- doc that we've got to watch. Is, there the, is that the, about the Israeli space guy? No, no. That was just an article I think that he's written. But this, his, his last, So, his last podcast is it was fucking- a few, It was a week ago. It was James Fox and someone else. Okay, I'm going to look watch that tonight. Dude, I, I've got a screenshot of it. It was excellent. Yeah, I just forgot to fucking listen to it. And, and was- apparently, there's a fucking doco. They've mm. made a doco on it. Yeah. And, and he's the- like, this is the best doco I've seen in ages on aliens. And they were talking about how um, these kids in Africa in like 96 or something, 94, all ha- had, an, had an experience where an un- like a UFO landed in front of them and they all had the same experience, like 100 kids. And so, they went there and they talked about it and, and interviewed them all and they all had the same- They had the kids all draw what they saw and they all drew the same thing. Fuck. And then uh, at the same time, they had one in Australia- where there was over 300 kids witnessed this this thing land in front of them. And people probably don't even know, but if we fucking like love alien shit, yeah, just fucking dude. gets us going, eh? Oh, like I've had bats over docos. God, I hope they're fucking... Oh, man, I just want to see one. So oh, bad. dude, that's... Yeah, fucking... The latest one we watched, Elements of the Fifth Kind or some shit. Yeah. Stephen Greer. Oh, some good and some also some shit things about it. God. Yeah. But... Seems oh. like a bit of a money grab, but also very interesting. So, the one I'm talking about at the moment that Joe Rogan was interviewing was James Fox, and he did a doco called The Phenomenon. Phenomenon? I can never say that word. Mm. Um, oh, really? I think I've heard of that one too. Yeah. Ghost shit and alien shit is just like the fucking yeah, it's best. Sex. It's fucking sex. And But they have a guy on there, this um, this European guy who's who is, who's who's been interviewing people for years, like since like back in Roswell, I think. He's an old guy. And they even- the, even Spielberg based a character in his alien movies off this guy. Wow. Yeah, was, um, Have you ever seen a UFO? I don't think so, no. Have you? I've laid in this like out, like really outback area where you can see all the stars and I could see satellites moving through the sky. And yeah, you just don't sometime know. Sometimes I questioned if it was a satellite or, a, Man, or something when else. I was going to London- Or a car. The week later after you guys had gone to Europe, I was traveling fucking- in, It was at night time and I was on the window seat and this weird fucking comet thing had all these sparks coming up from behind it. Mm. Came up next to the plane. Then I fucking looked around to see if anyone was seeing it. Looked back and then it just took off again. So, it sort of stayed next to the plane. And then I wanted to be like, what the fuck? Everyone's sort of sleeping at this time. It was the early hours of the morning. And I was trying to see if anyone had seen it and no one had seen it. And if I had have said anything, I would have seemed like a fucking crazy person. You do seem crazy. Fucking crazy. And I never told you guys, I don't think. Did yeah. I mention that no, to you? No, Because it was just like, I feel like who fucking believes that? I want to explore that? this story now because that I sounds think, hot. Oh, that I'm sounds trying like to be cool. Up, yeah. I've seen an alien. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You dick. Fucking it's making real. It He's lying, everyone. Do not believe a word this cunt says. Premonitions. Yeah, like, you, well, fucking the first thing I did in Europe was eat shit. So, I could have been a hallucination from the pieces of shit in your tummy. No, well, you can't fucking, it's not like I'm going to eat shit and then tell you about my alien experience and you're going to believe it anyway. More boys! You have a an alien on the plane! I haven't slept for five days! I'm attracted to my mother! Cut that, Connor. <laughs> just oh. the name just, just the, the name. name feces hallucinations oh, it's a thing but yeah oh. no I'd eaten the shit after I'd seen the alien anyway that's enough it's just a cute little uh, uh, fucking fun, int- fun in- fact interest we have and next year I reckon we're gonna try and fucking find one anyway watch this fucking space cunt next question is from David Martin um, 
What was your experience on DMT like? I think I know you've taken DMT. I've you? done it, but I didn't go. Uh, fucking so annoying. I can't. I always have an issue with smoking. I always cough so much and my lungs are so fucking sensitive that I can't ever get a full fucking bong of it. So I, I can't hit past that plane and get close. And then it just mellows back down. But yeah. It's, yeah, it's the most intense thing you'll ever do in your life. Michael saw the mechanical elves. The mechanical elves. elves, dude. They are fucking real. I was real. there watching him. So many people talk of this. They see the same thing, the mechanical elves. My theory, or I think I've read a few theories on this, is that... You go to their fucking factory and these mechanical elves are building, right? And you watch them and they're the builders of our reality. And like, this sounds fucking insane. I eat my own shit. <laughs> um, but like, <sighs> like, fucking hell, dude. These cunts were just working away. They looked up at me and they're like, sort of smirked and said, oh, here he is. And kept working. The and shit like eaters here. Just, <laughs> the fucking shit eaters here. He'll fuck yeah. off on a second. <laughs> but it's like they're building away in these fucking vibrations of this factory to sort of build our reality. Anyway, that's what I sort of thought. And then salvia, which is similar to DMT. I had, I shot up to the universe and had fucking whatever mother Gaia talk to me. Like telling a me that, dream. Oh, fuck. That would be fun. That's telling me that I'm just a fucking page in the story. And then the whole universe room that I was in flipped over like a fucking page in a story. And I went from seeing everything to just nothing. And it was like, wow, that's probably like life and death. Anyway, intense shit. It's like mushrooms times 1,000, the one, probably even more. The one good thing about psychedelics is it does make you, whatever. even though you don't really understand what you're seeing, it does make you far less scared about death. That, yes and no, dude, I reckon for me. But like, fuck. It makes you realize how small and minuscule your life is. And nothing we are. You are a bin. We were all going to die, Matthew. Even you. You will die soon. To dust. Oh. Uh, say dust. <laughs> I like it when he says dust. <laughs> What's dust in German? Verklein, I mean. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't know what flank. dust is. You don't know what dust is. I don't know. Schmutz is dirt. <laughs> Schmutz. <laughs> Schmutz. Look how fucking... Like, this is like a... We're yeah, having, you're this is a you're fucking podcast in a sauna. I am drenched right now. It's you look all right warm. though on the camera. Oh, well, that's the main thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. The camera. <laughs> um, next question is from Olympus Top Tens. Um... Question for the podcast. Was life better in either the 90s, 2000s, or 2010s? Oh, fucking best. 90s being a kid, riding yeah, your agree. bike, fucking building cubby houses, fingering like... Girls. No, you, you didn't do that in the 90s. But you're fucking like less than 10 years old. I was born no, in... I don't oh, know. Sorry, I I'm older than you guys. It's different stages of life. So, it's I had hard, a hard to compare. But I'd say now is the happiest, uh, happiest I've been. But like, okay, what about, I think it was nice as a kid because less responsibilities. Yeah, but you don't know. You, like, I remember being like, uh, everyone keeps saying when you grow up, you've got responsibilities, but you don't know how shit the responsibilities are. So, you, don't, you can't appreciate not having any responsibilities. It's just like, you know, whatever, shut up, mum, you fucking fuck though. I love just skateboarding, riding a bike, building cubby houses, fucking even school was fun. Handball, remember handball? Yeah. Oh, I was the best at handball. Oh, you know, I cracked the shit so bad about handball once in year eight and I felt so embarrassed. I apologize to the three people I was playing with, but they were wrong and I was right. And I fucking walked off and I was so angry. And then I and I was, it was still new to the school because year eight was high school back then. And I walked away and then realized, fuck, I don't have any other friends. I need to, I'm going to have to fucking man up and go back. And I walked back and I was like, and they're like, oh, look who's back. And I was like, and I was so angry because I know that you should have it was fucking them. lines. All right. You should have fucking shot them, brought a oh. gun and shot them all. Dude, there was a kid in my year who fucking head butted someone <laughs> because he got fucking out. He Dude. was that angry. He just went for it. Bang. I saw punch ups in, in high school over handball. Handball. Not me. Oh, man. fuck. Handball was good. Then once you got to high school, there was the, you're allowed to use your foot mm. rules. It was fucking and insane. How's this? They had handball squares. So for four people to play, right? So you'd play and all that. But then there was this other area, the, like the playground with a wall, a huge brick wall, and then three big squares. And they turned that into like an epic handball yeah, ring where you yeah, could use I'm, the wall. Similar situation. Oh. 
Yeah, I feel that. Fuck, Toka, we should that. start playing handball again. Oh, you, uh, take the net down. We got four service boxes. Oh, well, wow, that ain't a bad idea. No, we yeah, need a line, line along the fling shing lang No, I don't want to lose friends. <laughs> handball, dude, and fucking hell, like. What else? Riding bike. I love going on adventures. You go fucking check out this suburb and find all the, all the parks, parks of your area. You find fucking jumps that you haven't found. Like the local jumps, like jumps for the school or like you fucking You just go searching suburb. parks and you'd understand. That's how you grew up. You just look in every little corner at, of your fucking yeah. suburb. That was fun. Mm. I liked that shit. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> you'd fucking just take your mate's bikes and put them on rail like fucking train tracks. <laughs> remember any of this happening in my childhood next question is from sabrina what is uh one good char- characteristic you like of each other and what's one bad one you like of each other uh sense of humor yeah and sense of humor. um bad one is probably uh his maybe lack of hygiene <laughs> <laughs> definitely this week um fuck marty i guess you can get some fucking road rage sometimes oh yeah yeah he can he scares ask me up in a hard. car <laughs> he would, like the smallest thing he'll just <laughs> if someone makes fuck! me fucking do that a little bit they're fucking dead like, to me if you're going 1k under the speed limit you're a fucking asshole dude oh, but having said that i reckon in my lifetime i was saying to matt the other day i've probably saved maybe two months of time on the road from incredibly aggressive driving yeah my license is suspended <laughs> that's right <laughs> but fuck me have i saved some time oh yeah i, I remember what... being in the car with marty and he got angry but i, I had no idea he was about to get angry <laughs> and his reaction was to step on the accelerator and turn at the same time <laughs> And it was fucking terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't gotten into handbrakes. Soon. Next question. Oh, sorry. There's a bit of a hold up. My phone lost. Fucking can't, man. Um, next question is from Josh. And his question is, uh, yeah, but why? Yeah, but how is it? Is the answer to that. Yeah, but how is the answer to yeah, yeah. but why? And Good if question. he's asked another question after, under that, no no question mark no is the answer to his follow-up question his follow-up question was okay question mark no okay question mark okay all right next question is from sam warner oh yeah this is a great question um have you guys ever had sleep paralysis oh (laughs) my god yeah so i believe marty have you I've had it once. Yeah, all yeah. three of us have suffered this at some point. I went through a huge bout for about two years and it really fucked with my life. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the last time I ever had it, Michael told me how you can, you can lucid dream through Control doing it. Control it, dude. And because I got to the point where I would see the figure or the man or the woman, whoever it was. I'd get rats. And they'd hold me down. Chest. Yeah. And I would start going, fuck off. And I'd free. And I'd, that's how I got rid of it. But, um, you enjoy it. You laugh. But at yeah, it. and the very last time I had it, I um I shot into the into the atmosphere, Dude, and it feels so real. And you fully like either yeah. lucid dream, I'd say, but close to astral projection because I was literally on top of my fucking in like my ceiling on my room, looking down on my body. <laughs> then I shot up into the universe. Yeah, and I was in the universe. Fly and I saw these town. huge cubes with like dangly arm oh, things. Like so it was good. like a huge uh, like. I don't fucking know, terrifying. Of, yeah, it's fucking scary. It happened. It can mo- be scary. It happened mostly to us when we were like back when we'd work like fucking ninety hour weeks. Yeah, and be poor as fuck, and we'd be so exhausted that like your body f- falls asleep before your mind does, and it happened all the fucking time back when we just never slept. It'd be yeah. mostly afternoon naps. And you get me. Yeah, like it's scary as fuck. You got the shadow men, the rats, the witches, mm. but like. You can literally, kids or whoever fucking listens to this, if you get it, laugh at whatever is fucking scaring you. Yeah, like you try and laugh it, it off, off and then you'll get to a point of lucid dreaming where you can control the situation. The time- And I just go flying. I go for a fly around town. The, the time I had it, I couldn't, I couldn't, because I was lying on the couch where we used to live at Chermside and then I saw the rat and I just couldn't move my body and I didn't fucking know that it wasn't real. So, I was like- I can't fucking move my body right now. Yeah. So, it's hard to be like, oh, that's right. This is not real. And then start laughing because I was like, I can't fucking move. This mm. thing's going to fucking nibble I can on imagine me. someone being incredibly terrified though because you really feel- Because what I would get is uh, the feeling the of somebody oh. stepping onto the bed. 
like that feeling of somebody hopping onto the bed. So you immediately, you, you panic. He's like, oh, who's in my room? Who's there? And you see the figure and you feel him t- like get onto the bed. And then suddenly you, he pushes you down and you cannot move. And it's, it is really terrifying. Oh, it's, yeah. it's one of the if funniest you, things. Did you know you'll get it at least once in your life? Yeah. So like everyone who hasn't had it yet, it's fucking coming. And apparently, the because we watched a documentary on it, and that fucking f- sparked. Like, if you think about it before you go to bed, it like s- sparks it on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it brings it on. I've. W- what would happen to me was I would go to bed and I would think, oh shit, I'm really tired. I hope this that thing doesn't happen to me, and would happen every single time. Remember, it was happening to me for like three months straight every night. It was fucking, hilarious. we shared a bed at that time, and I'd wake up screaming because you have to try and shake mm. yourself awake. And he'd be like, oh, did it happen again? Like, yeah, he's like, huh. Yeah, we used to, me and Michael and Bosley all slept in one bed to save money when we first started making videos. And yeah, he'd always fucking wake me up in the middle of the night. Did you not hear me screaming? Because <laughs> you think you're screaming, but you're not fucking doing anything. And you can literally see around the room. Like your eyes are yeah, open. Yeah, your eyes are It's fucking open. crazy. So I think the science behind it is your, when you dream or when you go into a deep sleep, there's like fucking brain chemicals that- Stop your body, numb your body. So when you think you're running in a dream, it sort of like paralyzes it so you can't move your body. But normally happens to your eyes as well and your brain. But with sleep paralysis, your brain wakes up, but your body is still paralyzed. Mm. It's cool. It's cool. Science. (laughs) But yeah, we're all, um, we've all been there. Mm, We have, Mm. haven't we? delicious sucking cock. next question <laughs> oh, suck each other's cock after next question <laughs> three way <laughs> cock suck next question is that possible it's cock sucker no you can yeah no I'll sit like this you sit there Matt sits there I lean this way Matt there you there oh wow <laughs> triangle cock sucker thon <laughs> you can do that <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt your back though mm, But the cum would make the no, pain go No, you can go. get down, lie down like a circle figure So your legs around me, my legs around you And then Matt's around yours And then bang, we'll you try can, it. it'd be easier It'd be more comfortable than fucking sitting up Matt? Matt's not looking at us right now <laughs> How much to do that? What? Suck a con The triangle Suck a thon me and Marty The cock suck a thon How much you got? <laughs> We okay. Mm, we don't do it, but you do it in a virtual world, and we give you two grand. Wait, explain the virtual. So world. we don't have to do it, but it happens. Okay, but we don't know about it. <laughs> what? It's a virtual world, and you get two grand, but it's real for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> you've confused everyone. Yeah, you've yeah, confused you said me. Sleep paralysis. No man. one knows what's going yeah. on. Man. Oh. Next question is from Fred Hill. Um, did you both live in Toowoomba? No, it was just me. I had a few fucking fucked up years in Toowoomba. <laughs> and Toowoomba. Follow up question was, do you ever go back there? No, I've been back for ages. I, I like to go. I still got some friends there and fucking Toowoomba boys, all absolute legends. But my God, that place is a fucking shit hole. Fucking fucked that place. Man, the amount of times we get. It had like the highest crime rate in Queensland for fucking years. It's just a fucking fucked cunt. It's just fucked. Do you know the place with the cannon? Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah, there's a park with a cannon. I used to go as a kid there. I think I used, I used to, to live there. Yeah, we used to put like cannons in there and fire it off at buildings every now and then. Yeah, it was still working. <laughs> Next question is from Dan Dillo. Dillo. Um, would you rather live in a world without music or a world without restaurants? Oh, I without I I a restaurant. Yeah, I think I know the answer to that. Yeah, without a restaurant. That's um, tough for you, though. Next question is from Harry Bro. This is a good one. Um, do you know Aunt, uh, Auntie Donna? And oh. if so, would you ever do a video with them? Oh, they're my God. so funny. Yeah, the fucking. We had the honor of having them on our. Um, when we had, back in the day, we had like this fucking piece of shit, fucking shit. I'm, fuck off TV show, and we had them on as guests, so we got to hang out with them all day and interview them and it was fucking hilarious they're so funny and now they've, they've got, got a netflix series show, on yeah. netflix the big old house of fun on netflix give it a watch it's it's fucking just trust me just it's, it's strange it's only six 20 minutes episodes but just watch all right just watch like three of them and trust me and after start that to go to their youtube and watch their sketches because they're fucking great and after too. that go to bed because that's like what it's gonna fucking, be so late it's by like then. two two hours of fun you got work in the morning it's yeah. a school night holy shit it is next question is from az 
Um, if you guys were president for one day, what would you do? Also, can you add PayPal to the university site? Yeah, we're trying to, guys. We're t- it's, it's apparently it's quite a uh, pain in the ass, and PayPal is also very fuck offy because if like someone disputes if someone gets charged via paypal there are so many people on the website who sign up for the website and then we- i get so many fucking disputes via our stripe account because people are saying that it's fraudulent it's like fucking don't sign up then if you don't want to fucking pay it because it- it's fucking everything up so, but if that happens on paypal if someone disputes payments it'll just fuck freeze everything so it's yeah, I don't know. We're trying to figure it out, guys. It's fucking... It's a whole nother world out there. Let me tell you that. So, his question was, if you were president for a day, what would you do? I would uh, make it so president? that I'm president for another I'm 10 gonna years. I'm going to say, uh, if you were American I'd president. I'd pardon Edward Snowden. I'd, I'd become a dictator. I'd say, and fuck off, I'm only president for one day. I'm fucking... I'm fucking signing some shit now, you fucking cunt. I'm president for fucking 100 years, cunt. Even after I'm dead, cunt. I'm fucking president and then I'd fucking be president of Earth fucking 100 years, cunt. <laughs> Would you bomb anything? Yeah, fucking I cunt. Any cunt fucking talks to me about shit, cunt. Fuck, I'm off you gay, cunt. <laughs> Off you fucking guy can't fucking bomb on count. With like the fucking atom bombs so there'd be radiation <laughs> or just like yeah. missiles. Fucking radiation all the other fucking don't want to fucking get the cunts to dig a hole and fucking live down there count. <laughs> what about you, napalm? Would you like with fire? I don't even know what that shit is count. Hey? So yeah, fuck it. Bring it on count. I'll fucking swim in it count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> next, next, next question is from Jacob Dickerson. Dick um, in sun. Jacob Dick in sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't uh, know who this guy is, but maybe you guys do. Um, would you guys ever do a video with Coyote, Coyote, Coyote Peterson? I don't know who that is. Yeah, neither do I. He seems like some sort of animal guy. Oh, oh, the, the yeah, pain I'd guy. love to. You showed me him. Yeah, he's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. That's some painful Sounds shit. Sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, animals and insects. Yeah, he just gets like the most, most, he finds out which is the most painful sting of each animal. Of Oh. And it is, it's fucking hilarious to Dude, watch. Dude, that would be a rough job. Yeah. Man, you'd get so nervous beforehand. Especially like. We get nervous today just fucking slogging tennis balls at each other. Imagine having some fucking king hornet. How's your arm? Sting your face. Yeah, all the, all the, uh. All the superficial pain is gone. It only hurts when I touch the bruise. Is bruising. there a bruise there? Not really. No, I don't really bruise like you do. You yeah. fucking get a fly. A fucking fly lands on this cunt and he's fucking deep bruising. Next question. Um, if you had to remove a body part, what would it be and what would it be? My fucking... Tonsils? What's it called? Near your intestines. Your cancer. The cancer in your body. You'd remove that, I reckon. The fucking... Oh, the small know. tumors. Littered throughout called. your body. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, if I have cancer in my body, I'd remove that body part. But other than that, I'd probably have my tonsils or um, just fucking... There's up. something that fucking people have near their intestines that get out. It gets infected heaps sometimes. Appendix. Oh, yeah, I'd get that out. Yeah. I'd get um, shoulder blades... Get them out. Don't need them. <laughs> what Fuck. would happen? You just arms would be. You'd be like them fucking air, fucking arm thing. Like an octopus. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking flying around. <laughs> um, next question is from Yan Deli. Yan Deli. Um, uh, after a rough time in my life, I'm aiming to be a pilot. Do you guys have any advice for me becoming a pilot? Um, our advice to you would be to do it. Yeah, get up in the morning. Have a coffee first. Decaf yeah. if yeah. you don't want caffeine. Bit of breakfast if you're hungry. Then, I don't know, look at like your to-do list. You might have to clean. You might have to like- Figure out what you got to do that day. If you got to go, if you got fuel in your car, then you don't have to get fuel. But if you need fuel- Obviously, go to the service station if you need to fuel up on your way to the aviation If you need groceries center. for later, like you got to have cook dinner later. So, you're going to have to fucking get that sorted. And get there and read the content that you need to read and do the tests and then practice flying. And be the Our best. advice is to practice flying, practice as much as you need to. Buy then, a plane. And then once you have your plane license, of course, um, you're a pilot. So, that's our advice. To so do it. Do it hard. <laughs> you fucking... Uh, <laughs> next question from Logan. Um, if you both have children, what type of parents would you want to be? Well, I'd, let mine, was... I'd let mine out into the... Like, straight away, as soon as it could walk, it leaves. I reckon you'd put yours outside, keep it nice and cool as a newborn. I'd let it be free. I'd let it go. Refrigerate it. Make sure it stays fresh. 
already have a stepdaughter. I already am a father, and a f- and um, it's it's fucking easy. <laughs> All right, three more questions left. Um, next one's from Stephen Hunt. Um, would you guys ever consider a career in sports commentary? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. I think you guys would be gun at it, especially you, Mike. <laughs> the UFC. <laughs> uh, next question is from Donut Films. Uh. Um. Who's better, Margaret Little or Arnold Fine? Fuck, imagine if they had sex. They're both men, boys. It's unlikely. Oh, that's right. I fucking forgot. Um, oh, man, Margaret Fine is... I, um, I, I know, Arnold Fine. Margaret Fine. Mar- Margaret Little is uh, like, she's super love. He's super lovely, but he's obviously got some um, hidden rage. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoy, Ma- I enjoy Margaret's company as, as unpredictable as he is. He's, he's good fun to be around. Arnold Fine, just, he's just constantly trying to sell us pigs. Arnold Fine is a cross between Nigel Thornbury. And a jackhammer. <laughs> and Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. You'd fucking hang out with them. Hmm. Um, that was it. I actually only had two. I lied. All right. There's a few secrets. All right. There's a few secrets, you guys. Get ready. Are they good or are they just rambling nonsense? Yeah. Did you pre-read them? Yeah, I did pre-read these. Okay. <clears throat> There's some fucked ones. Just came back from an eight-month deployment with the Navy. When we were out in the Middle East, I was checking around the ship as part of my job, making sure everything is running sweet and there's no fires or flood dangers. On my la- on my way to the last compartment of the ship, I caught our chef sucking off one of the lads. The lad that got sucked off has a wife and kids too. That place fries your head, but this only happened on our first week out there. That is fucked up. And this is the same guy who sent us a picture of his asshole with hemorrhoid on it. That yeah, right? that's strange. Yeah, so not only is he surrounded by fucked people, he uh, seems... Yeah. Maybe it's not his ass, so he might have just sent one through. Let's hope so. All They're right, defending let's... their freedoms. Do not question them. Um, I like it. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> you caught someone, a chef sucking, sucking someone off, eh? <laughs> All right, here's a secret for the podcast. So I've had this broken faucet in my bathroom for months and no, one's ever, and no one ever uses it. So I've made that sink my primary ejaculation station. <laughs> I must have blown at least 100 monstrous loads into that thing. My mum and brother visited recently for the holidays and I happened to mention the broken faucet. The next day I come home from the shops just in time to find them fixing it. The water poured into the sink and six months worth of coagulated spunk began to liquefy. My mum and brother were so curious as to what this creamy, slimy substance was that they actually started picking it up with their hands and investigating it. Fuck off. I was so horrified, I almost threw up. And until this day, I don't have the heart to tell them what it was. At least I can share my secret here with you fine gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> how, do you would blow, not, how do you blow into a fossil? Like, I don't understand no, what the fossil is. It just blows into the, the, the sink. And then it just runs down the, and then just sticks there, I guess. Oh. The drain. I've got to throw a question out. Wouldn't that shit go hard and would it, Clog would it, it up? still be creamy? It'd be, I, well, it'd I be hard and then, and then you add water and it goes soft again. So yeah. who knows? It's something to try at home, everyone. Something oh, wow. to try. That's, we, that's, we should that's, test that. Man, that's, in, that's a great secret. <clears throat> All right, for secret number three. A few Very weeks ago, a few weeks ago, the cashier in the supermarket wasn't friendly to the customers, and then forgot to cash in my box with t- twenty bottles of water and two packages of soil for my garden. I noticed it, but decided not to say anything as a punishment for him being unfriendly to customers. I know that is so wrong for many reasons, but in that moment, I felt very good about it and could barely hide a grin. A few days after, I donated some money for an animal shelter because I. I felt I had to even it out. So there you go. She's be nice, everyone. Otherwise, people will steal from you. Mm. Secret number even three. Even Stevens. Secret number three. When I worked in an office before becoming a teacher, me and a co-worker sometimes pranked each other. I took the official letters of the company and wrote him a termination. When I wanted to reveal it, Secret it was one. too late to admit because he had talked to our supervisor already. He ended up in a huge fight with our supervisor and stabbed him in the back. The supervisor is actually dead now. Oh, you're making yeah, this I up. made that up. Okay. Talk to our supervisor already. They would have fired me knowing I misused official company letters, so I stayed silent. They were angry but didn't know who to blame, so there was no consequence for nobody. Phew. Of course, I would have admitted it if there had been consequences for him. Fucking, fucking, eh? Oh, that's a tricky you! one. You! Ha ha! You! All right, that's all the fucking secrets. Keep those secrets coming in, guys. They weren't bad. They weren't fucking yeah, bad. You guys are picking I up I love the, the game, faucet eh? one. Yeah, the faucet. 
<laughs> Fawcett. All right. <laughs> That's the name of the next segment, and this is where we open up all the shit you guys send to our P.O. box. Christmas time. Which is right here. The P.O. box is right here. P.O. box 256 Tagum 4018 hey, Queensland, Australia. Can you pass me a fucking knife, Matt? Yeah, That's not a digit. This is a Stanley knife I fucked the pool with, brother. Don't! Oh, Don't, it might fly out. Yeah, it you nearly you did. fucking man. dick. Lucky I had to stabbing at Michael, everyone. Okay, thank you. Sorry. All right, let's. Uh, it's a little box here. Let me have a little bit of a. It sounds like oh, um, teeth. It sounds like someone sent us teeth. It's tea. What's the stamp from? That looks pretty. Cambodia. Um, Wisconsin, USA. Oh wow, these guys they're struggling right now with the old uh, ringworm. Oh <sighs> shit! I have in front of me a tube of terror. A Carolina Reaper peanut challenge. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's no. so hot today. <laughs> oh, warm, sticky oh, biscuits. No. Oh, I don't oh, want to do it. There are so Maybe. many warnings on this. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing. <clears throat> All right, there are the rules. No food or drink. You have 10 minutes to finish the chew by eating only one to two peanuts at a time. You have to wait five minutes after the final peanut is, to, after the final peanut to complete the challenge. All right, I'm just We're gonna, not fucking doing that. We're having one and that's it. All right, this gonna, is so, I hate this shit. <laughs> We've done too much of this lately. <laughs> what so, did we do the other day? Yeah, fucking so over, the fucking. Carolina Reaper, the actual chili for a website video. Can you guys smell that? I'm holding up to the microphone. Oh, it smells intense. Show me. Can you smell that? Comment what you think the smell is like. Oh, no. All right, here we have a little letter here. A little letter to come with it. Not for use by anyone under the age of 18. Do not consume if you have any medical conditions. Michael? Oh, MS. I had a kidney stone, so I'm out. Oh, fucking hell. All right. This is, uh, yeah, This there's like a, I'm not going to read it. There's a whole letter here saying how fucking, how they're not liable if we die. <laughs> Wait, before we do this, let's enjoy our fucking other package. Maybe it'll be something yes. to be a remedy to yeah, this. That is a good idea. Maybe we should do it at the very end of the podcast just because fucking it's going to take... We're just going to be screaming for like fucking yeah, 20 minutes. they probably fucking want that. Yeah, well, then they can listen to that at the end. You know what I mean, brother? Yeah. All right, here we go. Another one. It doesn't have a name from anyone. Oh, I don't want to do this. Maybe we'll forget and then just not do it this week. Anyway. Can we do it next week? And the finale, we'll get Jackson to do it. Yeah, okay. Jackson yes. will do it with us. Okay, guys, we're going to do this next week with Jackson. It will remain right here. All right, we got a little letter here. It's a little package. Dear Marty and Michael, on the back of the key holder is your Jack. name. Have fun. Love you. Big hug. S Esther underscore Eliza from Amsterdam. E-S-T-H-E-R underscore E-L-I-Z-A. Oh, it's a little bracelet. Holy shit. It's fucking lovely. Oh, look, they've got a little fucking logo on it. Holy shit, that's cool. Oh, my God. This is lovely. Look, look at this. At, dude, we got fucking rad keychains. And we got like little uh, bands with the uh, Marty, uh, with our um, profile picture on them. Do you want to show that up to the camera? Then, Marty, Matthew? big hug. Yeah, it's Esther lovely. Eliza. Oh, thank you very fucking much, Esther. Very fucking much. And what do we got here? I love you, Marty. Big hug. Esther underscore Eliza. Let's give her a bloody follow on Instagram right now. Eh? Holy shit, dude. Oh, well, thank you. Anyway, Esther, I'm going to fit on mine. I'm going to, Michael can wear it and I'm going to leave mine right here on the, uh, on the table. So uh, we can look at it every single week. So how's that? And I'll, um, I'll be sure to use this little keyring because um, I like reading nice things. Yeah. So, yeah thank you. Thank you. It's did we give her a follow? Yeah, we sure did. It's hot. Sure Sorry, I just did. took a wholesome message. Shit. And look at these little bloody little bags they came in, eh? This could be a little fucking cocaine bag or something. The marijuana. Mm. Oh, a little poppy, is it? <laughs> How long have we been going for, Matt? Uh, we're just about to hit an hour. Ooh. That means it's time for prank call. And that's the name of the segment today. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to call a butcher as Arnold Fine and accuse them of giving me up to the police and say that they've stolen my pigs. 
All right, here we go. I'm actually a little bit uh, nervous. This guy's like, I feel like this guy's yeah. just going to lose his shit. We have I'm to buy him fine. a Christmas present. Yeah, pig. Matt, you fucking sit down. You fucking sit Always runs away. Coward. Uh, hello. Is this a uh, butcher? No, I think you're the wrong number, buddy. Mate, uh, 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 listen here. My name Arnold Fine. Someone tell police. Someone tell police. I I sell illegal pig. And the police. What do you expect, mate? You're ringing everyone up and bloody telling them all this, mate. And I can tell you right now, it wasn't me. I'm not a dog. I wouldn't dob anyone into no. the police. Well, who else? Are you? Who else do it? Then uh, the police can't. You, you want to come and argue with me? Come here, my police. Family. Police come and take my pig away from my shop, and but now I only have a mate, six of chicken. I didn't fucking ring it. Fuck off. I only have a six of chicken now, huh? I'm gonna flog you. Come here. You want to buy chicken? Come here and speak to me. Why you be so angry with me? I just try to sell pigs. I don't want anything to do with you or your dodgy setup. Never have, and I haven't run the police. So you're barking it's up the wrong fucking tree, you dickhead. Miss, this country is so difficult. I only moved here a few months That's ago. Your own fault. I've got nothing to do with it. Try to feed my family. Stop ringing me, you idiot. My son sell pig, and now they're gone. The pig is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, he went from zero to 100. No. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he is so fucking Ooh. angry. <laughs> Dude, we have to go there. Dude, I'm fucking scared to go there now. What if he just fucking knifes us? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, well, I guess because it's been like, what, five weeks now or four weeks already? You went from zero to 100 very quickly there. I Ma- lose my Matthew. pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh. I'll have to uh, move on to another butcher there. I'm starting to feel a bit bad. No, he's... You gave him, a, like... You gave him fucking a good in- adrenaline rush. It's, it's like a roller coaster ride for him. He's just... Now he's all on a high. He'll work harder. All right, should we eat one of them? No, we're doing that next, next week, week with Jackson. With, yeah, for the finale. Right, we're going to eat those fucking deadly fucking peanuts next week. Did you hear that, Matt? No. What oh, happened? He dude, went you, off we're his gonna fucking nut. Really? Have to show you. He lost it instantly. What did he say? He I'm just started f- screaming. Get Come down here and I'll fucking flog you. <laughs> <laughs> this is harassment. So angry. If, if yeah. you ever find out it was us, we're very sorry. We didn't mean to upset you Three. so much. Sorry, so much. It tempted me. It's far, far too oh. much. Okay, we're going to stop calling that butcher. We've clearly crossed some sort of line. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll give him a At we'll least, like, it was a great fucking... Yeah, like, we should very maybe Very entertaining. Him a, yeah. What's his butcher maybe call? We, we should... Do, no, we'll fucking get out. him a pig. We'll bring him a pig like we said we would. No, he doesn't want a, a pig A qualified one. If one we rock fucking, up there with a pig, he will uh, stab he will, me. He will shoot. I want to see it, dude. No, we'll <laughs> get him a teddy bear pig. Or one of those little ones that from Kmart, that oink. Oh, dude. Or maybe we should just go give him some money or something. Just give him a little Christmas hamper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could go really wrong. <laughs> oh, dude. I'd love... Like, it would be the video of the year if we brought a pig in. Or maybe we should... um, Maybe we should go in during the week, give him a gift, an o- a peace offering, and let him know that it was us. And, um, yeah, see what happens. Maybe we'll just make Julian go in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. That was fucking great. That was very, very good. That was some great entertainment. You saved the day, Arnold Fine. You're a great man, even though butchers hate you. Arnold Fine, we'll be back in return, huh? All right, comment who you want to do the prank call next week, Margaret Little or um, Arnold Fine. I'll be back next week. We got Jackson coming on, hopefully, and fucking we're the we're best. Gonna eat some we're the fucking best. We're gonna eat all those fucking chilies. Not all of them. Not all of them. We're the best. 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 We're the best.